Okay, yeah, they, that's right. It's now for uh, DMCToday.com. Yeah, can you see my camera in the reflection? Yeah, hey, it's me, Pee Wee. Anyway, today's deal is I'm going to show you once I open the door and all that good stuff. There's a dog. Today's deal is I'm going to show you my fancy smancy fuel pump adapter bracket thingy that I use to put a low pressure fuel pump in my car. Bill actually makes one, it's pretty good, but I think I broke mine and caused it to start leaking, so I crafted my own with uh, some fancy smancy parts. And in the description for this video, I have all the part numbers. All this just like, look, you know, look down there, see, look down there, down there, and like there's a part numbers and a write up and all that. But anyway, let's get the car open. Alright, so, put my keys down. I'm gonna check my phone in a moment. Now, when you're working with fuel and all that stuff, you don't want to have electronics with you. So, I'm gonna put this down for a moment while I empty out my trunk. Yeah, I don't need to empty everything out. Okay, that's me. So we're gonna need a screwdriver. Find me a screwdriver in here. I think I need a screwdriver. There's a screwdriver. Okay, so let me show you my fuel pump setup. Ooh, it's a garbage. Okay, so as you can see, mine looks a lot different. This sleeve, or this protecting thing, is nothing more than a raincoat sleeve. Bill actually, and I don't, I don't have that plastic thing, I don't need it. You know, the plastic thing that goes here and bolts in, I don't need that. So I took it out. Um, but you can, you know, what Bill does, he has that, and he has a rubber thing on there, and it keeps water from getting on top. Or you can do it the stock way, and you can, uh, oh, what is it, have that $50 thing that warps and all that good stuff. Or you can use a raincoat jacket. Keeps water out of my fuel pump, out of the boot, all good stuff. I secure it with a woman's scrunchie, just wrapped around. You get a big old pack of those at Walmart. And then, there's my fuel pump. It's right there. And my fuel pump is different than a cage at one. What we'll do, let me unscrew this clamp right here. Lift it up and show you what I got. Alright. So, you know, I got a fuel filter down there. And I got the filter that came with the uh, fuel pump as well. You gotta be careful with this too that you don't get these lines kinked. You know, if you get the, what I got, it works fine for me. But uh, if you got a soft hose and it kinks and you can have problems, I got a really hard hose. I got it at Ace Hardware Store. They sell stuff for lawnmowers and tractors and all that. So I got my fuel line over there. But anyway, there's a little rust on the top of this fuel filter that I'm using to go in the canister. That's because for a while I didn't have this. And so what happened was water fell on top of it and got rusted and all that other good stuff. But... Uh, 
since I put this on, as you can see, there's no fuel that's seeping up and there's no water in there. That's perfectly dry. All right, let me show you what I got under the tank or in the tank. That's it. So all I'm using, I got rid of that fancy smancy, you know, there's like a thing that goes on here and holds it all. Got rid of that, you know, it wraps around, I don't know. Anyway, I have a fuel filter in there. The rubber is clamped directly onto it, and that's the only clamp. And then the rest of it is just fittings. What I did was I got the fittings that I needed and connected them together. The part numbers are all in the part description. And the way this is set up, it's set up to where this can push all the way against the bottom of the tank. And it's all the way down there. So I pick up as much fuel as possible. And then if you look down in there, hopefully I don't drop the camera in there. But if you look down in there, you can see my tuna fish can baffle. And there is absolutely no rust in there whatsoever. No rust on the bottom of this setup. No rust on the fuel filter. Like I said, the only rust is on the very top of the filter. And that is because uh, some rainwater got in there. But I fixed that with my little sleeve off of a rain poncho. I'll just cut that off. So uh, when you install this, to make sure this touches down as far as possible, what you can do is you can actually take out your fuel sender and look in there and see what it's doing. Another thing you can do is you can just have this a little bit loose. That way this can move. And then you push it down in there and then, you know, you can hear it hit the bottom. Then you take it back out, tighten that, and then you've got perfect fuel pickup. Um, I like to keep this pointed towards the back of the car. Uh, really, I don't think it matters. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I point it towards the back of the car. That's how Steve Rice does it. So, put that back in. I don't have any hoses to mess with. Let's see if I can get it back in there. All right, there we go. Somebody just texted it. So push that back down. Or emailed it, didn't he? Oh, I got a Facebook and email and a text. Don't keep electronics or anything like that nearby when you're doing this, because you know they might spark and then the fumes will ignite. They're gonna die. This is hard to do with one hand on the camera. Let's see if I can set up my little tripod. Is my little tripod working? Probably not. But I'm just going to put the camera down for a moment. Get my raincoat in position. Put that clamp down there. screwdriver man I think my song's over with Is it? I'm gonna turn it back on cuz I like that song alright put the clamp on there and then I'm just going to put my boot, or my raincoat, over the fuel pump real good. Well, I'm scrunchy. I suppose you could use tie wraps too, but scrunchy works for me. That's it. No water gets into my fuel pump boot. Canister holds the fuel pump, or my adapter holds it all the way down there. And I just did, over the last 10 days, I did like 3,000 miles of driving. 3,200 miles of driving, something like that, I don't know. Did well over 3,000 miles of driving, it's time for an oil change. And uh, didn't have any fuel pump failures, didn't have any vapor lock, thank you. Uh, and that was summer driving too. So, dmcaday.com, that's your Steve Rice fuel pump adapter blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah.